And next breaking update, India's forex reserves have jumped now to US dollar 7.02 billion to a new high of 681.68 US billion dollars. This is for the week that ended on August the 23rd is what we are learning from the RBI. Also in the same period, India's GDP also has grown by a 6.7%. Now, do remember in the April-June uh, quarter is what we are really looking at. And this again tells you of the India's robust story, something that both the finance minister and the prime minister have been alluding towards. And also saying that uh, after the COVID pandemic, there has been a recovery that now is going towards picking up growth. The Moody's had also, remember, put in a better forecast now for the country and there was a lot of concern about the FDI also moving out of the country. But India's forex reserves have hit a new high and this again tells you of perhaps a lot of these steps that have been taken over the last many, many months that are finally yielding results. Let's again quickly recap what we do know about, you know, these two important figures. One is, a, you know, Moody's forecast that has been revised vis-a-vis -vis India to a new growth high. And also the Forex reserves have now seen a considerable jump as far as uh, this particular week is concerned. And this again is going to be indicating, you know, Hina, what people have been talking about, that there is a lot of you know, growth in the India's own growth story, the trajectory, and many people were worried saying that this is doomsday coming, people are losing jobs and a lot of other things. But what do these figures actually tell us? Well, you know, we've seen uh, uh, macroeconomic data coming out uh, in the last few days as well. And all are right now pointing uh, towards one fact that, you know, for now, Indian economy seems to be in a sweet spot. We've also got the GDP data today for the first quarter, uh, the, though it is slightly lower than what the street was expecting. But because of a high base effect, also the number looks slightly lower. But overall, uh, things are looking upwards. Yesterday, we saw even Moody's uh, raising India's GDP growth forecast. Now, apart from this, the Reserve Bank of India also, you know, keeps an eye on our forex reserves, the gold deposits. So on that front also, there is some good news that has come in today. In fact, India's uh, forex reserves have gone up by about $7 billion. And uh, this has broken past records as well. And because of this increase, our forex reserves currently are at an all-time high of about $681 billion. Now, this data comes on a weekly basis. It went down slightly, you know, on 9th of August, but now it's back again. So, you know, things definitely are looking up. And yesterday, uh, as we were discussing about Moody's commentary also, uh, inflation, uh, which seemed to be a very, very big issue, also, uh, you know, seems to be moderating right now. So hopefully with a good monsoon in the next quarters also, experts believe things are likely to be look better as far as Indian economy is concerned. All right. Now, for the moment, thank you for getting us the latest on that story. And from